My name is Jay Lewis. I'm a Syracuse student, and I'm also an American Ninja Warrior National Finalist. Growing up, I was definitely a very active kid. I always have loved sports. Um, I mainly played like traditional sports. I didn't have any sort of like uh, gymnastics or parkour background or anything like that before I got into Ninja Warrior. And the way that kind of came about is when I was at my grandparents' house, house, me and my brother were just like scrolling through channels on the TV. Um, we came across American Ninja Warrior. American Ninja Warrior is an obstacle-based television show. So essentially you'll run different courses with a series of obstacles that test both like your upper body strength, your balance, your agility. Um, and it really kind of covers all physical aspects of movement. Uh, slowly over time we started to really like it and follow it and watch the episodes as they came out. Um, and then one day back in like 2015 my brother just decided to look up see if there was a Ninja Warrior gym nearby and luckily there was and it was only 20 minutes away it just opened up I started going there and you know the rest is kind of history. So when I got invited to American Ninja Warrior back in 2021 for season 13, it was, you know, a huge, it was a dream come true. It's really the only way I could put it, you know, I, I felt ready and I was really excited to, you know, see what I could do on the course. I found for me personally, whenever I compete, especially on a big stage like the show, the way that I do the best is by focusing on having fun. Uh, when I get in, you know, a really like competitive mindset or kind of in the zone, um, I find that I put too much pressure on myself and there's no need to put that extra pressure because it's already there. You don't need to create any pressure when you're competing on that stage. I would say that my passion for Ninja Warrior comes from a lot of different angles, um, but it's truly just the fact that I love doing the obstacles. You know, it's something that is really fun. I enjoy it. Um, you know, the training definitely isn't always great. You know, the conditioning and all that is not so much fun, um, but I know it's all worth it. And the reason that I do it is because I love it. Clearing stage three, you know, was truly the best moment of my life. It's one of those things that, you know, I've been doing Ninja Warrior for about seven and a half years now. Getting to kind of hit that buzzer, it, it was one of those things where it was like all of the hard work that I put in, all of the hours of training, all of the you know dedication that I put into the sport, it felt like it all paid off in that moment. Uh, the ending of season 14 was definitely a little bit bittersweet. You know, to make it to stage four, which is you know something that I dreamed about for so many years, was incredible. Um, but I came up short on the rope climb. Going into season 15, I've been training a lot of rope climbs. Obviously, I've been working on it. My goal next year is to you know achieve total victory, beat all four stages. Um, but in general, my goal is just to you know beat all the courses. And I definitely think that um, it's within my grasp, but it's going to be really tough, and I'm I'm ready for the challenge.